hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to configure odoo in pycharm editor in case you missed previous discussion about how to install odoo version 15 in windows operating system please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit the playlist under the playlist you can see odoo development label is there here you can see different topics with real test case available and in case you need any support uh, related odoo you can visit the about page under the about page you can send your query to this email address plus we have also different social media pages so make sure you can follow and source code also available in the github so make sure you can follow this github link and you can also support this channel using many ways using this join button buy me coffee or paypal so let's back to our main topic like how to configure odoo version 15 in pycharm editor so let's say there are many types of editors available right so let's say eclipse vs code pycharm and rest so based on your expertise you can configure odoo right so there is no any limit and this is only for the education purpose how you can configure any specific Odoo version to the specific editor. So right now we are using PyCharm Community Editor. There are two types of editors available, Community and Enterprise. Same like Odoo we have like Community version and the Enterprise version, right? So here this is free of cost. You can download from official website. If you remember, I already installed this PyCharm in our last discussion but we didn't configure right so in this discussion we i'm trying to explain like how to configure odoo in this pycharm community so let's go to here you can see we already created virtual environment then after you can see this is our odoo version 15 add-ons and this is the main service right so let me open this one so let's say first time you open this pycharm editor you can see such screen so we have to confirm this one right like let's say don't send all right so you can see here uh, it, it will display the first time like this if you don't configure any project so the first thing is either you can choose this open or let's say if you are working with the multiple odoo version right so you can just create a new one and let's say based on your convenience you can add in, a, in your specific path but right now we don't need to create anything in the d drive uh, sorry in the c drive but let's create here in the d drive and here let's say odoo underscore projects right and i'm not trying to create any new environment for let's say here i will try to use my existing virtual environment so for that like let me add here existing one and let me open in the d drive if you remember last time in our last discussion we already created a virtual environment right so for that like we have to go to in the specific virtual environment directory script and here python .exe file we have to select that's it then after like system but here like say the pipe environment variable right so here we also need to use the same thing let's say python.exe file right and make sure this should be a tip install packages from the pip files now I will try to click to ok and let's say the python click to ok and you can see it will automatically end here right now i will try to click to this create button now you can see it will create a new directory and this is obviously it's a blank so let's say so what we need to do is we need to cut this odoo and we have to pass here and I will try to also rename 
I will also try to rename this one to o not only Odoo but Odoo version 15. So let's say you have uh, any of the versions for the specific Odoo you can add like this way for the naming conversion it would be very good and once you pass here right and if you go to in the PyCharm and if you extract this one you can see the Odoo version 15 is available here right so let's say you have a multiple Odoo version also available here so you don't need to worry about like how you can handle multiple projects in this one project all right so this is only for the multiple projects you can also open the specific version the Odoo version project here that is also possible and if you click here in the terminal by default you can see Odoo 15 automatically activated and here simple you have to do is like go to here python odoo bin minus w odoo and minus r means password that's it and you have to wait here like it will try to active the odoo service and I will try to go to here in the new profile localhost ops we have some error connection data is ok so let me control C and it will close automatically the service here Alright, so let me uh, let me go to one more time here. Odoo version 15, right? Simple like Python Odoo dash b minus r means Odoo and w means one two three. So I forgot to use the minus. So let's say what I did a mistake is the minus r means the database username and minus w means database password. So I just switch the commands here. So instead of this minus R, I used here minus W Odoo and minus R means one two three. So that's the reason like Odoo is not established connection with the by Postgres. So let me one more time try to activate the service. Alright, so let me go to in the front end side. Now, like let's say one, two, three, and I will restart the service. Alright, so let me close this one. Okay. Let me add here add ons path, add ons, and do that add ons. Now you can see without any error it's appear like this way and now I will try to go to it so I will try to refresh the web page and now you can see without any error it will run Odoo service all right let's say admin a So like this way you can run the, you can configure PyCharm like this way, right? The, this is the manual process. Let me show you the automated process how you can active the Odoo service or let's say active or restart the Odoo service using the button click event right in the PyCharm. So for that let me close this one here. We can minimize this one. You can see the current file, right? So we have to click to here editor, edit configuration, you can see there is no any projects available right. So first thing is we have to click to this python, here we can give a name, the project name let's say right now I am providing the training so Odoo 
draining then after this the odo bin file we have to add here so let's say right now i'm using this odo version 15 so i have to use this one right and here we have to pass all the parameters let's say minus r is odo minus w means one two three and here i can use add-ons path add-ons comma odo slash add-ons like this and then after i have to choose the specific version here right so let's say i just choose the right one like the virtual environment make sure you can use that one we have to leave everything like this click to ok and now you can see this is the debug mode and this is the active the odo service active button and once you click this one it will automatically start here you can see and now i will go to here and refresh the page so we don't need to manually run here each and every time right plus you can click to this one it means it will stop and run again so basically it's a restart service right so once i will refresh the page here it will again active the service now let's say you want to stop the service right so you can simply click to this red color button and you can also see here the process finishes with the exist code minus one and now i will try to refresh you can see here no more service available all right and what about this debug mode so we will explain i will explain this one in a debug mode session all right so this is the basic thing you need to remember like how you can configure odoo in pycharm and especially in the windows operating system right now i'm using odoo version 15 community editor community edition pycharm community editor and windows operating system version 10 if you have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in next session.